to the tank is an accessory to make your wardrobe more versatile. Hi Sharks, my name is Brooke Knaus and I'm seeking $70,000 for 30% of my company. Sharks, you know some things about fashion. Barbara, Lori, I'm looking at you, both looking gorgeous today. You are right on that. <laughs> <laughs> so you already know that crop tops are super hot right now. But what do you do when you have a cute top that you want to turn into a crop? Well, you could chop it yourself. But why ruin a perfectly good shirt? <laughs> Or you could do this bra tuck hack that's really hot on social media right now. Whoa, Hannah! <laughs> it's not that kind of show, guys. Hannah's just doing that tuck that is so hot on social media right now. And yes, it keeps your shirts intact. But the second you start really moving around, it just slips right back out again. So, sharks, what do you do when those hacks inevitably don't work? Tucky! Tucky turns any top into a crop. Here, Hannah, try this. <laughs> Tucky is an elastic band with two silicone strips on the inside. <laughs> you just wrap it around your waist, securely fasten, tuck your shirts up and under, and you have a lasting crop that's secure, comfortable, and best of all, no slippage. So, Sharks, what do you think about this? Tucky is a tool to unlock your closet in a new way and let you style your clothes in ways you'd never thought of before. So what do you say, Sharks? Let's cut the crop and get to tucking. Hey, so this climate. is it in front of us? That's it, yes. You okay. each have your own tucky in front of you to try. And if you need any inspiration, please just look to our beautiful models. Is the middle person wearing this as well? That is indeed a sweater over a romper. And that is a great way to transition your wardrobe from summer to fall and extend the wardrobe that you have. Kendra here with the pink shirt and the blue jeans, she's doing what I call the no bulk tuck. So she has a very bulky sweater that looks like it's tucked into her jeans without adding any extra bulk to her waistband. Are you wearing one? I am wearing one right now, so yeah. So why would you wear it with this outfit? I, I'm just curious. Why do I need it with this outfit? Well, for example, if I were to tuck this top into my skirt, it would add more bulk to my waistband, which is exactly what I don't want to happen when I'm trying to make the most of the figure that I have, which does lead me to why I created Tucky. Okay, yes, tell us your story. <laughs> So I created Tucky after I'd had my second child. I was recently postpartum, which meant that I felt a little disconnected from the body that I was living with. In order to feel back in touch with my body, I was wearing sweatpants and sweatshirts, matching sets, but there's a lot of bulk in those sets. So I was tucking my top up into my bra, hiking my sweatpants up high, and essentially creating an hourglass figure when I really didn't have one again yet. The problem was I was playing with my then two-year-old and my newborn on the floor, picking them up, playing with them. My top would just slip right back out. So when I went online to look for a product that might solve this issue, nothing existed yet. And that's when I thought, if it's a problem for me, it's probably a problem for millions of other women. And that's how Tucky was born. I get it. You must have some sales. I do. I'm so glad you asked. Let's talk about that. So I launched this year. So we're looking at about six months to date. I've made $60,000 in gross sales. Okay. Uh, yes. 60, um, all online, direct to, to moms? About 98% online. I have a handful of boutiques in Charleston, South Carolina that carry my, my belt. Okay, what does it cost to make this? Landed, packaging included, $5. They retail for $30. My net take-home profit has been $40,000 so far this year. So, wow. Okay. That's, you. that's a lot. So, Brooke, would I find you all over social media demonstrating this thing? You would. I would actually attribute so many of my sales to having gone viral on TikTok within the first month or so. What were you showing? Well, I was sort of debunking that bra tuck hack. Women were doing that. It was a very popular hack on social media at the time. And you know, I said, there's a better way. Look, Brooke. Great product. Thank you. My daughters probably will love it, and I'll make sure to bring this to them, um, my 16 and my 19 year old. But it's really not a fit for me, so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank but you. But congrats, so much. you've really taken this idea and done a great job with it. Thank you so much. You're welcome.
Okay. I think it's a clever idea. I think, I'm not sure how big the market is for it. So while I think you have a great little business for you, and I think you will do well, I don't think it's the right business for me uh, as a partner. So I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you so much. And I actually would love to address a few things that you just mentioned. So Tucky's primary market is between the ages of 17 and 25 years old. There are 15 million women in the US alone in that demographic. You know what I love about this business? It's so simple. You have one SKU and it sells for 30 bucks. Makes sense. What I don't like about the product is I think tucking, cropping is a trend. And I'm worried about what happens when it goes the other way, the trend. That's I hope I'm wrong on that. I'm out. Well, thank okay, you so, so much. Okay, so Brooke, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, really, a great presentation. I'm a believer in you. I'm going off my piste a little bit. That's a ski term, I'm a skier. Me too. Um, because I really can't see myself doing TikTok wearing this thing, which is what <laughs> I would do with the product. <laughs> I would give you the uh, 70K for 40%. Oh. Wow. Um, I'd like to make a million bucks. I'd like too. to blow this up. And Sharks, that is actually why I wanted to go in here and just offer a larger percentage for less. No, I think you were wise because it's yeah, very you, hard you to get a deal in Sharks. You the exact Shark approach. Yeah, right you know, approach. he's taking a much larger percentage. How much yeah. larger well, it's percentage? It's the only well, offer do you, you own, have so do far. Do you own 100%? 100%. I think it's a flyer. And I just want to beat Kevin. So <laughs> I'll give you the same exact offer of $70,000 for 40%. Ooh. Oh, neither of those is any oh, good. Guys. You'd be crazy to take either one. You would can you, counter. Would you do? Would you do thirty-nine percent? Thirty-nine percent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a hard negotiator! That's How do you do it? That's the first. Thank you. Way to negotiate, Brooke. Oh, You're a machine. I just can't wait to work with you, uh, Mr. Wonderful. It would have been an honor as well. Thank you so well, much. You Congratulations, Brooke. Congrats. I countered with just 1% because I didn't want to lose Damon. He's worked in fashion for so many years that I think he fully understands what Tucky can do for a woman's wardrobe. His involvement and his excitement to have that much stake in the company is what's going to help Tucky grow faster.